Um, with all due respect to what happened in the Second World War and the Holocaust, we are now in 2010, but do you think that what happened there informs how people feel about Israel and overshadows whether people feel they can or can't be critical of Israel? No, let's be clear. Um, people can be critical of Israel as they can be of any other state. Uh, but what is happening against Israel at the moment is more than criticism. David Cameron went to Turkey uh, and attacked Israel, very knowingly used the term camp, uh, prison camp. Well, about he was talking Gaza, about the situation in Gaza. Which is a lie and a very ill informed comment by him. If uh, Gaza is a prison camp, it's the only one in the world with luxury shopping malls, uh, Olympic sized swimming pools, with a better standard of living than parts of Turkey. And what's more, may I say, the, well, the, point, of, the point about this is the yeah. following that he goes to Turkey and says this, and doesn't even mention that Turkey has been illegally occupying part of Cyprus. Okay. for decades. Now, well, now I just think, if, if we're going to talk about Israel being treated by different standards, yes, it is treated by different yeah. standards. It is attacked by entirely original standards of people who want it destroyed. Le just on the points about Gaza, of course, uh, Mr. Cameron said the situation in Gaza has to change. Humanitarian goods and people must flow and in they both do. directions. And they do. There is and an they economic do. blockade. No, 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 there's not an economic blockade. Gaza. This is absolutely ill-informed. There is no economic blockade. The, uh, goods flow all the time through the border crossings. And may I say one other thing? Not which is this. the goods they are. No, no, no. You're, you're, not, a, you're not allowed to take guns and you're not allowed to take rockets into Gaza because they, fire them concrete. Because, they, because they fire them into Israel. Now, and one other thing. Egypt has a border with Gaza. I, Mr. Cameron didn't go to Turkey and say that Egypt should open up its border with Gaza. Why doesn't he talk about Egypt? Because UN Israel is held by a different standard. Are the UN and Amnesty International then, are they as misinformed as David Cameron? Because well, Amnesty eight International out, eight certainly out of is, ten. yes. Well, so Douglas, hang on. Let me make a point. Of ten Gazans rely on uh, UN handouts for food and the most basic of uh, uh, of, of living living standards to be able to actually exist. You made you made Gaza sound like a paradise on earth, and it, I'm not sure that many of the people in there would no, regard no. it quite in that way. This issue has got to be resolved. It's almost the last issue that faces Israel uh, through throughout its entire history, and it will not be resolved. As people here in Northern Ireland, which is where we are broadcasting from, as people in Northern Ireland know, you don't resolve these issues at the end of a gun. You resolve them round the table. And since Israel is a nation of intelligent, competent, but Edwina, the Israelis will go around the table. The Israelis have repeatedly said they will sit down at the table. The problem is, is that Hamas is not just dedicated to, the, to the, a, a negotiation which they do well out of. But uh, Hamas right. is, is dedicated in its charter and in its actions to the annihilation of the Jewish state. It's very hard to sit down and negotiate with people who want to annihilate you. They're They're to sit down with them. It's you very hard to, to, to... If you say, what are, we well, going to, are you going to be annihilated a bit? Look, well, one it may of the be hard, but that's the point of which things start to change. Mm. When somebody says, it's hard, but I'm going to do it, but that's exactly but what Mr. people Cameron, like. Mr. Cameron should have put some onus on Hamas. He did nothing. He let Hamas off. He went to Turkey, which has uh, currently got a government which has been supporting Hamas, and he went there and he apologised for Hamas. He didn't put any did pressure not. on but Hamas. Douglas, that, surely that is going too far to say that he apologised for Hamas. If you do In not no say... In no sense did, do, did David Cameron's comments make a point point to apologise for no, Hamas. No, no, of course he did. Because if you don't take accountability to the following, that the people of Gaza have their own future. They have their future in what their own future hands. Do if, they they, well, if they vote for terrorist groups like Hamas, live. it's very hard to say what future I they have. I want to talk but to Naftali Bennett, because Naftali Bennett it is, is fair point. to criticise Israel, but the argument from Israel's defenders are that the same criticism does not apply to Hamas. Are they treated equally and should they be? I don't think you can just balance it and say they have to be treated equally. Um, it seems, to, from my point of view, Israel is a, a remarkable nation. It's been in existence a long time. It is a democratic government. And it has politicians that are tending rather too often to, to uh, arouse uh, reactions. The, 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 the quote that you've just the moment I hear a sentence that says hate, I twitch, mm. right? The Jews have been on the receiving end of hate for thousands of years. Jews should not be trying to practice it and they should not be promoting that kind of talk. Mm. Let's talk to uh, Deborah, excuse me, because Winnie uh, joins us on the line. Winnie, you think we are too critical of Israel? That didn't sound like Winnie, and enormous apologies. Uh, let's talk to Paul, uh, because he takes uh, the different 
point. We need to be more critical point, Paul? Yes. The um, only reason that the Israeli state exists, of course, is because of the American and British point of view where they wanted a foothold in the Middle East. So, now they've got the foothold, they support them and give them arms and ammunition and money to support that. Um, Douglas is shaking well, his head in the studio. It, it's so fantastically illiterate as a comment, so fantastically historically inept. Um, is, Britain uh, was uh, certainly not uh, a country the which was desperately trying to create a Jewish state in the region, nor uh, was America. America happens today to uh, dispense uh, 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 all sorts of aid all around the world. The largest recipient of that aid is Pakistan. You do not hear people talking about the Pakistani government saying, on the one hand, should we criticize them? And on the other hand, maybe the Pakistani uh, state has no right to exist. Maybe because it has American aid, it has no right to exist. So maybe the Pakistani people should all just leave oh, the area. Is yet, that is, yet that is yeah, routine. Yet that is with routine respect. when no, you I'm discuss not say with Israel. Respect. I'm not going to say with respect. This is absolute nonsense. This is, this is complete rubbish, and it doesn't help the cause of the State of Israel. The cause of the State of Israel is promoted, in my view, by decent people trying to do their best, not only for themselves, but for their neighbours. If Israel tried to turn itself into a modern Singapore, another Singapore, a wealthy country that was able to spread its wealth and its benefits around, that absorb people Which and make them... Which it has tried to do. It, it not tried Which to it do. has tried to do. Not Which me. every territorial concession, well, that Israel, every single territorial concession that Israel has, has, has uh, it's got to do with territory. Nothing. It's, it, it should not be so tied to territory. Again, that's an issue that found its resolution through the Good Friday Agreement here in Ireland. It's not to do with territory, it's to do with people. And it's okay, to do with whether or not people want, want to kill you. I want to um, bring in some emails here. Simon from Switzerland says Israel must be held accountable under international law like any other state. Linda says we justify the terrible treatment of the people of Gaza and Palestine by Israel because of the way the Jews suffered in the war. War. Israel needs to stop using look how we suffered as an excuse and Susan says the press is very biased in reporting Israeli attacks but generally failing to mention the daily attacks from Gaza into Israel a point I think that was made a little bit um, earlier let's talk to Selma James uh, Selma is from the anti-Zionist network and Selma you are Jewish yourself but your argument is that we're not critical enough of Israel Look, um, Israel is occupying Palestine. That's the first thing. Israel is a nuclear state. That's the second. Israel is one of the largest supporters of the producers of arms and has an enormous military presence. Israel broke the um, boycott of South Africa. Israel has been the friend of every dictator. Israel does not allow families that are mixed um, Arab and uh, Jewish Israeli to live within Israel. Israel has the laws of apartheid that dominate the whole of the Middle East. Israel is a, an extension of the U.S. military. It tests weapons. It tested weapons in Gaza on behalf of itself and the U.S. military. Selma. If they had a hundred thousand of those um, missiles going, it would be nothing as one plane from Israel and the, the havoc and the murder, the slaughter. Selma, I must, I must interrupt there. Israel. Selma, a Jewish member of the anti-Zionist network. Sure, I mean, it just goes to show this is a sickness. This obsession with Israel is a sickness. Well, it, uh, it, to be fair, we're obsessed with Israel because that is yes, the subject of no, the no, discussion. No, 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 but, no, but, we, but this, because this discussion comes again, uh, uh, programs like this, the BBC and other organizations do not routinely talk about Turkish uh, human rights abuses. Oh, you, Edwin, you, you do not talk about Iranian human rights abuses. You do not talk you about the abuse, human rights abuses too critical? in oh, every single are Muslim we too country too in the world. Two, wrong, two wrongs don't make a right. And I, I, I know what she's getting at. My children could settle in Israel as full citizens. My brothers can't. So there, there, there are issues like that. But I accept that because that's the tradition. That's the way traditional communities have operated for many, many centuries. And that is one of the debates that you can continue.